tell us a little more about that, if you can, and just you know, what, what, what's kind of made him stand out so much as, as, as a freshman this year? You know, just uh, he's in that, he's in the office watching film every single night. He's been doing it all since the day he got here. Uh, he's very serious about the game. He runs very well. Uh, he's a, he's a really good striker. Uh, he he when he hits you, it's it's a legitimate strike. So he plays fair, he plays fairly physical. So his knowledge is pretty darn good for his age, and his work ethic has allowed him to be in this position. The other player that we're going to pull off red shirt for sure and play is uh, Eric Ortel. Um, he will be starting on four of the special teams, and he'll clearly get in the mix at linebacker, probably the Sam position. We've been very impressed with uh, his progress over the last two and a half weeks. Um, he just seems to be coming along in practice, uh, highly motivated, very mature um, young man. and. Um, he, he gives us a nice, a great business approach to the um, for a young guy to to the game. But we knew that, you know, when we recruited him, we we knew we were getting those kind of intangibles. Paul, uh, Micah Hannum is 39 for 39 in uh, starts during his career. Have you uh, heard of anyone at, at, at that school getting up to numbers like that, and uh, and what has allowed him to do that? Um, the only other person we believe that's in that category is Mike Gottlieb, I think 42 straight starts. Um, but that, that is a, a rarity. There's no question about it. Um, you know, a lot of that is a testament to his toughness, you know, cause I know he's played very hurt before with bad, uh, badly sprained ankles, black and blue ankles, and he's played. And so I admire his toughness and, um, mental strength. And uh, that, that's what allows him to, to play, to be quite honest. Um, and so, yeah, that's very impressive. How do you replicate the speed of that uh, run-and-shoot offense as you're uh, pre preparing? It's, it's not easy just because, uh, you, know, our, you know, we try to do a little bit against each other, our, you know, our ones versus our ones, just to give them a little bit of speed look. But um, obviously we're not going to be able to simulate it as well uh, um, for what they do. But... We just gotta we gotta work hard at, at, at trying to feel comfortable and anticipate what they're going to do, and then just go play ball, go go react to it, and um, you know we've we've got to have a heck of a game to, to control that offense. There's there's no question. We gotta tackle well, and um, you know we gotta we gotta mix it up enough to where we can you know hopefully get some pressure on a quarterback or maybe force a few error and throws. Could you talk about how, how their offense compares with what you saw at Oklahoma State? Well, Oklahoma State ended up running the football a lot more than we anticipated or that we, we even had an idea formationally what they were going to do. And, and um, you know, Kendall Hunter is a different type of back than what we're going to see Saturday, albeit both very productive, very good players. Um, and so uh, the difference is, is you know, June's going to do what he does we'll have a better idea of what they're going to be doing. Oklahoma State kind of got us off guard uh, a little bit because they truly did some things we just didn't prepare for or we had, you know, we just didn't have an opportunity to prepare for them. So um, I think there is a, a difference, obviously. Yeah, Coach, what's the uh, general mood of the team been over the practices so far this week at coming off the win? Uh, good. You know, they've been very, very excited. Had a good Monday and a good Tuesday. I think got a little tired at the end of the practice yesterday. We went long again, but um, the attitude's been good. Um, just working to get better. You know, the one thing we know about this football team is that we've got a lot of youth, and 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 if we can stay healthy, youth will you know continue to grow up. And uh, so there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, and and so we're very anxious to take our our improvement week to week. We surely want to do that. Um, you know, are you going to take huge leaps each week? I don't know if that's realistic, but we surely think that, you know, you step back a little bit and start looking at, at, at the games in chunks. And, um, you know, we want to see ourselves continue to improve.